Left-hander that's going to be mid-80s for Florida. You get to this point, and, and um, here's the batting order for Tony Vitello's Volunteers, leading the league in average and home runs, third in the nation, nearly nine and a half runs per game. Uh, it's a freshman that can really turn it over. He's not going to throw very hard, but if he throws strikes, it's definitely it's different than what Tennessee is used to seeing. Breaking ball hitting the left field. I might have been knuckling a little bit on Langford. Into center field, John Fabian. Wind is blowing out today, so while this is a big ballpark, not sure how many of those it will hold. Yes. Slim. Especially when he compliments us. There's ball four, <laughs> and Beck reaches with a two out walk. And here's the danger for Karsten Finville. Gilbert, first team all conference, leading the league in average, but he goes down swinging, and Karsten Finvold rises to the challenge here in the first inning. Sewell, 6 and 1 with a 2 9 3 for the senior from. Cleveland Tennessee in the last three games 27 runs on 31 hits. Yeah, it's looked like the Gator offense that we've come to expect down the stretch and 9-5 pardon me. Carolina with a lead backhanded Cortland Lawson long throw. Mm. Made it look easy. Bounce pass it works pretty much every time. Sterling Thompson with the line shot over the reach of Lawson. B.T. Ryapel at the plate, runner goes, the pitch is low, and a stolen base for Sterling Thompson, now 9 for 12. It... Ryapel goes down swinging, Camden Sewell getting the start today, but it seems just about anybody they put on the mound has a chance to dominate. Not done yet. Ty Evans at the plate for Florida, and a little flair to Jorel Ortega. No runs a hit, and one left on. And you look around this crowd. His elbow. Offense exploded in the last two innings to eliminate Kentucky. Pitch in the dirt. There goes Lipscomb. Good read. Russell chases, and that's two that strikeouts in the first two innings now for Karsten Finboy. Two hits this week, both of them have left the yard. Swing and a miss on 83. Karsten Finvold is rising to the occasion against a number one ranked team in the country. Different ways, as you say, Caglione. Caglione, as I screw it up. There's one. That one is inside the line, and Caglione stumbled oh. around first. Up the middle, and Ortega will. Get it off the recovery, and that will close the Gators second. No runs a hit. They left two on through two for the second time in school history. Uh -oh. Wow, this ball is rocketed to left off the bat of Lawson. It is off the top of the fence past Langford's reach. Lawson to second. He's still running on his way to third after the long carom, and it is a leadoff triple for Tennessee. There have been five triples hit this week in Hoover. Tennessee's got three of them. Oh, a little extracurricular. That's what it was. Okay. That BT Ryapel all the way over to third base by the time they got done. I didn't know it started. Pop up to the right side off the bat of Seth Stevenson. Wow. This one will leave the infield. Halter. Two down. What if? Wow. What if Carson Finbold not only gets out of this, but continues what has been the most surprising start we've seen in some time? And he got him on the corner. Carson Finbold has been a magician. He has struck out four. Leadoff triple is wasted. The number one team in the country can do nothing against Finbold. Pulls of the Southeastern Conference with Starkville the last weekend. A couple of you guys were there, right? Yeah. You know, that place was full yeah. because of the competition that mm. they got to watch. Whether it's regionally or nationally, misses the point. This is a long term change. Mm. Langford thrown out, first Florida runner thrown out by Tennessee this season as Russell delivers his strike. The reality of it is we have a highly competitive conference, and sometimes these things, um, the, the, the disagreements and talk about solutions and resolving the issue. Lipscomb forgot there was only one out. Catch made. He'll get wow. doubled up. Huh. How wow. about that? And Tennessee still scoreless. Commissioner, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a yeah. very productive week in Destin this week. It'll be interesting.
the best possible scenario Kevin O'Sullivan would have thought of. And now Ty Evans bangs one up the middle. That is the fourth hit of the game for Florida. Nine nothing win. There goes the runner. Pitch is low. Did not go and a stolen base for Ty Evans. Catching and throwing. Fabian on the ground, smothered by Lipscomb. Mm. Beautiful pick by Lipsius. Two down. Well, that was pretty on both ends, wasn't it, boys? Jack Caglione flares it to left, says Stevenson all the way back to the, nearly to the fence. Wind blowing right to left, and that was more interesting than looked off the bat. The ballpark late. Right behind you. To third. Nice play. Halter. And it gets away from BT Rapel, the catcher playing first base. That's a difference, a huge difference in these two teams. It'll be a hit and an error. And he sends a line drive to right field. Russell ends up at third. That's a first hit with a runner in scoring position today for Tennessee. He's down the way, see if he'll chase another one. That's what he did there. I mean, it's. I, I haven't seen. Tennessee force him to do anything different his way to the big leagues a few years later But squeeze play at the plate and Fimble gets tripped up as he cut in front of Halter. We got our first run of the game Just a perfect call right there. Do you think they've done that the entire once the entire season? Oh, think yeah, they've run a safety. Yeah, it was with Stevenson for sure. That's the perfect matchup, right? Only eight sack bunts the whole year Two on, one out. Got on the edge. That is strikeout number six for Karsten Finvold. Go for one of the strikeout looking. Gassetti steps in front of it. Both runners advance. Burke to third and Stevenson to second on the wild pit. You, you got to walk back yeah. here. Gilbert has not looked comfortable the last couple nights. And he sends it to left field. Langford pushed back. He can't get that. One run is scored. Here comes Stevenson back down the line. The relay never gets there. It's a bases clearing double for Drew Gilbert. Four nothing Tennessee. Well, KP, I'm with you. I would have probably tried to spin something. They went back to the fastball that got Lipsius. Here we go. First pitch change up. It's off the end of the bat. Then you get him to chase the heater up. They're trying to go away, and he leaves it up and out over the plate. We saw it last inning. The ball is carrying to left, and I think that ball really surprised Wyatt Lankford, the way that ball had a little extra carry and horsepower to it. A bullet over Lankford's head, and the Volunteers push the lead to four. And it looks like that'll do it for Carson Finville. Gilbert desperate for a good A-B, and he put one together there, for sending the fastball to left. Rivera. And that'll close the Tennessee fifth, but not before they send eight to the plate. Poor pitcher. It's kind of like Corbs coaching third base. <laughs> pitcher cut off a little bit. Uh, explain to me prep stuff to the viewers. Yeah, it's just it's that move right before the ball enters the hitting zone that kind of allows for rhythm, momentum. And then as it enters the zone, prep. And it's lined right over the head of Lipscomb. Mike Lankford has his second hit. And Florida's got two on here with two out for Sterling Thompson. And he sends it to left field. Stevenson takes care of it to end the inning. I think Florida's a, almost a lock to host. Fair ball into the corner past the reach of Halter. Langford finally finds it, and Jorel Ortega with a leadoff double. You got Florida as a lock. Two in their last 18. Russell reaches on the wall. Knocked down by Ryan Pell to second for one. Back to first. Ooh, nice play. Just a hair late. I want to be a 3 6 one is going to host. historically those two end up getting paired up. You could see TCU going up the road to College Station. Get you to swing right under. Stevenson down the line. That's a fair ball. Ortega has scored. Ball's going to come to rest on the warning track. And Stevenson standing up at second. 
with a run scoring double. It's now five nothing balls. And Lipsius knocks one through. Burke has scored. Stevenson coming home. The throw from Fabian to second is a good one, but we got back to back doubles, and that's a full belly for Luke Lipsius. That has this much offensive depth and pitching depth on one roster. I, I, to me, that's how that differs. The incredible depth on both sides. Pre outing routine. Lead off single BT Riapel. We uh, we we briefly started to talk about him. Oh yeah, I bet that hasn't a happened. Long time. Ortega has it. Oh, boy. That'll be a double play. Coast, if you win this regular season, Caglione taps it to the left side. Lipscomb. I guess the Big 12's not going to send me a postcard. <laughs> Purnell out of the Florida bullpen. And against the ship, that one will roll through. And a base hit for Trey Lipscomb. That up should be elected president immediately. In fact, no election, just an anointed president. Pretty powerful statement. Purnell goes to second. Beautiful footwork by Josh Rivera, and the double play will close the seven. Going on. Here's Ortega. And that will do it for Florida in the seventh. Halter got away. Distinctly different leadership styles. Mm. Berkey, what do you got? To, that he projects as a starter. Because if he projects as a starter, value goes. Into center field, racing back is Gilbert. Mm. One on one to the plate, and Ooh. more than that off the bat. BT Ryapel with his 15th home run of the season. That was special right there by BT. Xander Seacrest in out of the bullpen, and Ty Evans greets him with a shot. He'll get all the way to the fence, and Evans now in at second base with a double. That's falling. That'll get down behind Ortega. Evans will be stopped at third. Florida's making this thing interesting here in the eighth two. Chase the change. And Caglione goes down swinging. Two down. Through the left side, it'll get home. Evans, Fabian stops at second. And Florida's not going down without a fight. Lipscomb waited on that one, gets the tag, and that will close the inning. The college baseball, then some of the other championship level sports. This one is lifted high and deep to right field. It is gone. Bat flip for the ages. Drew Gilbert just pinwheeled the bat after that solo shot. The bases loaded double seems to have freed his mind. Boom. Well, he did look uncomfortable, and as you said, Tommy, one swing of the bat. So um, Drew Gilbert didn't run very hard after this home run. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Is it? Is it? I think the bat hit Is him it? in his back of his leg. Watch this. He flips it up. No, it didn't. It bounced next Maybe to the umpire. <laughs> And he sends a shot to the gap in left center field. And he's going to stretch it for two. And with a double. Consistently in that host discussion. Look Russell out, touches right this. And caught at the fence. Langford got it. 
Touch deep left center field on the run. Gilbert still chasing and off of his glove will hop against the fence. Lankford standing up at second base. And another hit for Florida. Lankford will score. Thompson motors to second. He is in ahead of the ball. To the right side, Ortega flags it down. Now can't recover. A run will come home, and Florida still has life, and they've gotten to Fabian. Sky high left field into the corner. Stevenson will come around. Park will hold it, and so he and the Volunteers will hold the trophy. SEC Tournament Champions to match their regular season title. Another line on the resume for Tony Vitello and the number one team in the country played like it this week. They never trailed. Mm-hmm.